Thank you for downloading yet another Osprey Network's prank call from the Pointless Audio Radio Show on http colon slash slash www.ospreynet.info. Unlike certain other recording associations that enjoy suing little 12-year-old girls, we give you full permission to download, upload, distribute, burn, copy, leave as a message on your ex-girlfriend's voicemail to tell her what a cunt she is, Use it as a way to tell your asshole boss that you quit his crappy slave wage job and otherwise distribute our content in any way you see fit. You may censor any profanity if our content is to be syndicated on any FCC-regulated medium, but otherwise you cannot alter this file in any way, shape, or form, and this extremely long, annoying, tedious, and inconvenient disclaimer must remain on the file. If you would prefer the non-annoying version for syndication, please download our shows in their entirety at http colon slash slash www.ospreynet.info. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy our content. Um, can't use the phone right now. It's currently being occupied. Yeah, yeah that does. All right, what's the number? Yep. Four. Four. Five. Yep. Eight one. Eight one. Yep. Eight four. Hey, I'm trying to get some poutine. Give me a break. So? That's assholes online for you. Goodbye. Yeah, who should call AOL and ask them? Oh. We've already called AOL though. Yeah, we could. Goo, any idea? Uh, uh, on the recruiter. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. That's fucking with the government again. Well, you could always call the FCC. Hey, whatever happened to that Windows company we were looking for? Did we ever find one? Oh, the Windows company. Oh. The glass company? No, we're not up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> call it Microsoft Tech Support. Google, you want one? Oh, here we go. That, that's one we were going to get to last time. Microsoft Tech Support. Apparently, we can install c- install Windows on a Commodore. Oh, that works. What? Yeah, I just got off the phone with Best Buy, and they said that Best they Buy can install Geek the, Squad. Uh, Windows on my Commodore 64, and I can't do it, and I don't know the secret. Tell me, please. <laughs> oh, we're not up anymore. I don't even have a hard drive. Should I give my computer Viagra? <laughs> it doesn't have a hard drive. Only What's hard the hard drive? drive? <laughs> it's only got floppy. <laughs> Why don't we give this one to the newcomer? Let's give this one to Google. Yeah. Thank you for calling Microsoft Commodore 64. For Premier Essential Commodore, uh, Essential uh, Windows 95 on a Commodore. For technical assistance with the use or installation of a Microsoft product, press 1. Thank you for calling Microsoft Product Support and Services. Please listen carefully to the following menu as the options have changed. If you are using Windows 98, Windows Millennium, Windows XP, Office Application... Oh, here we go. We'll put uh, Windows XP on it. Press 1. For Windows 2000... One moment, please. Here we go. We'll put Windows 98 on it. One moment, please, while your call is connected. Your call may be monitored or recorded. Soft software support. Please have your product key or account number ready. Sure, we need a product key, product quick. identification number is found by starting the program and selecting the Help and About from the toolbar. If you haven't installed your software, the product key can be found on the CD case or paper sleeve. Thank you for calling Microsoft Customer Service. My name is Melissa. May I have your first name, please? Hi, Melissa. This is Michael. Thank you. May I have your last name, please, Michael? Uh, Osprey. O-S-P-R-E-Y. Thank you. And may I have your telephone number, please? Sure. It's... I'll be working with you today to see how Microsoft can best assist you. How may I help you today? Um, I just bought a used computer off of a friend of mine, and he also uh, sold me a copy of... Uh, and I'm trying to install it on the computer, but I just can't seem to get it to work. Uh, you know, I, I got the disk in, but... It's not installing, it's not reading the disk at all. And uh, I, I don't know what, what to do. I mean, I called up Best Buy. They said they knew how to do it. But I don't want to bring it into them and then get charged an exuberant amount of money for something that should be simple. I, I know it should be simple. I'm, I'm not that very technical. But, you know, I, I it, everybody else says it's simple. I mean... Okay, well, are you on your computer now? Uh, yes, I have it turned on. Okay, and it's not bringing anything up at all, is that correct? Uh, yes, I have a DOS prompt. 
Anywhere in your desktop do you see a My Computer icon? Uh, no ma'am. Uh, I have a, uh, all I'm seeing is a DOS prompt. Okay, what, can you read me everything on the CD, please? Um, it doesn't really say anything on the CD, it just says Windows XP, you know, it's a Microsoft CD. He told me it was a good computer, I mean, it sounds like it's a good computer. It, 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 he said it's a, it's a Commodore, I mean, I'm not that technically inclined, but he said it was a really good computer, and the drive C is big enough, it fits the CD in there. Okay, anywhere on the CD, there is there a part number beginning with X? Um, no. Well, Unfortunately, the CD is in the drive, and I'm having trouble getting it out. Um, you know, it's, there's this funny little latch on it, and, and I can't seem to get the CD out. Um, like I said, I'm, I, I, I have, like, no technical skills at all. I don't even know when my friend isn't here to help me out doing this. Um, Can I put you on hold for a moment, please, Michael? Thank you. One moment, please. I lost audio. That sucks. We lost part of the audio. Oh, much. I heard it all. Oh, did you? Good. All right. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for holding, Michael. Uh, hi. How are you doing again? Okay. On the back of your CD case, anywhere is there a product? Uh, he didn't even give me a CD case with it. It, it, it was kind of, he was having, digging through his basement and, you know, he found this computer. He told me it was real good. He said it'd do whatever I wanted it to do. And he gave me a, uh, a copy of Windows XP and Windows 98. And I've tried to install them both. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was lucky to get the Windows 98 CD out of the drive. The, the XP CD is just stuck in there. I can't get it out either. I have the product number on the uh, on the Windows 98 CD if you want it. Okay, is that uh, 25 digits with letters and numbers? Uh, it's on the back of the CD. It begins with an X. It, I don't have the case hanging around. Like I said, he just gave me the CDs. They okay, got all sorts of Microsoft holograms all over them, I mean. Because we would actually need a product identification number or a product key, Michael, in order to figure out your support. Uh, see, like, like I said, you know, I'm not very technical. I don't, I don't know about these things. This is my first computer that I ever bought, and you know, it looks kind of clunky and old. But he said it works and it'll do anything you want it to. So I mean, you know, he said that the Commodore was a good, was a good uh, computer. I, I, I don't understand. So you guys can't help me at all. We can't help you without either the product identification number or the product key, one of them, in order to know what your support rights are. Oh, okay. Thank. Uh, well, like, like I said, my friend, you know, just kind of was cleaning out his basement and. Yes, and if you need him, like to contact him about getting the product key, if maybe he still has the case for the CD. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you can hold on one second, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find the, uh, the, the, you know, he gave me a stack of papers uh, with, with a lot of letters and numbers and stuff on them. Maybe that's what you're talking about. I'm going to go looking through it and uh, see what I see if I can find what, uh, something that matches what you're describing. Darn record player. My hey, turn on the TV, huh? I found it. Okay, it's um R three M H Q W R three four H. Does this sound familiar? Yes. 